Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can create your own brand board for real estate directly in Canva. Um, so why would you want a brand board? Brand boards are a fantastic tool to hand off to new team members. So let's say that you hire Sarah, who's your marketing guru that you've just hired on your team. Instead of having to do a back and forth with her over and over again about what you like, what fonts you use, what your style is, what images to use, you create this asset ahead of time. And then whoever you have on your team, whether they're a full-time employee or a contractor, like a photographer or graphic designer, you can hand them this tool and it creates this clarity around what it is that you like, what it is that your brand is about without having to do all of those back and forths that just take up so much time. And at the end of the day, you're really not even sure if you've, um, you know, said what you need to say about your brand. So this is just a fantastic tool. Set it up ahead of time and I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to create one. The first thing we're going to want to do is hit create a design. I'm going to move myself out of the way and we're going to do a custom size. And we're gonna make this 1500 pixels by 3000 pixels just to make it nice and long. Create this new design. And now we have our template. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is hit T on our keyboard to bring up a text box. Make that a bit bigger. And then type in the name of our company. So real estate company. And just pop that at the top. Now I'm going to copy this. So Command C on my keyboard and Command V. And then that just copies this box or you can right click and hit copy and paste, but you can see the um, control keys here that will allow you to do it on your keyboard as well. So we just want to do this uh, four more times. So in total, we want uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we want four um, boxes, five in total with your real estate company at the top. And then we're just going to space it out a bit. And on your brand board, what you want is to have your logo, you want to have a color palette, you want to have your fonts or typography if you want to be fancy, and then you want to have some uh, brand imagery. And your, you know, really quickly here, your logo is your logo for your company and this just gives people obviously like graphic designers an idea of what it is that your your logo is so that they know how to use it your color palette are the colors that you use all the time typography is the fonts that you use and your brand imagery is the tone of images that you want used throughout all your marketing so as a designer if you hand me this tool looking at your brand images i'll know exactly what images you're looking for instead of me having to guess as to what you might want in your design so let's start with your logo. So I have just uploaded um, a random logo that I created. That I It's a Canva uh, logo that I just manipulated a bit. And we're just gonna size this down and put it in underneath this logo section here. And what I've done, if I zoom in, you'll see that there's one logo that's the primary logo that we're gonna use as often as possible in all of our uh, marketing and then there's a stacked logo and this logo is stacked so one on top of the other and this is for certain designs that won't allow us to use the primary logo so it's important to have those two variations and to show those variations to whoever you're gonna give this document to so they understand that there are options that it's not just this one logo that they can use if their size constraints they can also use this one now moving on to the color palette, we're going to head over to the left hand panel and click elements and then I'm going to type in shape and that's going to bring up all the shapes in Canva and what I'm going to do is choose a shape that I want to use as to showcase my color palettes. So I'm going to choose this one. You can choose any shape that you want. This is where your personality can come into play and I'm just going to create a color palette with five different shapes and size these down and then just space them out and what I love about Canva are their smart guides here so when I I know exactly where to stop so that everything looks beautiful so you can see that that purple line comes up so I'll know that everything's spaced out the way that I like it and then that's the middle there we go so now we have five boxes and we need to put our color palette in there. If you have your color palette, fantastic. Just head up here to the color picker, hit this plus sign, and then drop your hex code in here and it will change 
to whatever color you have. If you don't have a color palette, you can always head over to canva.com forward slash colors and they have so many resources to help you um, help you define your color palette. You can also head over to pinterest.com, which is a great resource to find color palette inspiration as well. But for now, what I'm gonna do to keep things simple is just use my fourth street colors. So my primary color is this really dark gray, and then we have this gray, and then I have this like taupe color. Not taupe, it's like a grayish purple, grayish purple, yeah. And then there's the taupe, and then there's this light gray. And what you can also do is, I'm gonna copy this text box, bring it down here, make it super tiny, and then we can pop the hex code in there as well. So I'm gonna press the plus, plus I'm gonna hit this um, shape, I'm going to head over to the color picker, press the plus sign, and it will give me the hex code. So I'm gonna copy that hex code, head over here to my text box, and paste that text code in. And then I'm gonna do the same for all of these shapes. And again, Canva is guiding me with their smart guides. So you can see that it's telling me when I'm in the middle of that shape so I can drop that. Okay, so everything is aligned. And now we move on to typography. So I'm again going to copy this text box, bring it down under typography. And generally speaking, you can have as many uh, fonts for your brand as you want, but I like to stick with two to keep things super simple. So again, we are going to make two of these. And then we're gonna put the title of the font. So one of my fonts is Montserrat, and the other one is Playfair. Okay, now what you can do is you can specify what these do in your marketing. So I'm gonna move these around because for headings, we like to use Playfair and for subheadings, I like to use Montserrat. So I am going to copy this smaller guy, bring it over here, make it slightly bigger and say headings and then copy that over to this guy and say subheadings. And then just bring all of that down a bit. And I'm even gonna make this smaller. So let's say 20, 20, and there we go. Um, so we have our two fonts and now we need to showcase what that will look like. So I'm gonna bring up another text box and then I'm just gonna type out the alphabet. And then I'm gonna do it again, but with lowercase. Okay, we're gonna make that smaller. Um, and then I'm gonna copy, bring this over here, and change them to Montserrat. And what this does is at a glance, we can see, I'm just trying to line this up, we can see how, um, how these fonts look when all the letters are typed out. So it gives us a really good idea of how this, this works inside of our, our brand um, visuals. So now we wanna create brand imagery and to keep it super, super simple, what I would suggest that you do is type in frame and select a frame that you wanna work with. And I would work with, you know, I'm not even gonna work with any of these frames. I'm gonna say no to that. I'm gonna head over to photos and I'm gonna select a photo for my brand. So let's say, um, let's say it's like 
just soft. Let's say it's soft. I really like this photo. So I'm going to hit the three dots here and I'm going to head over to this woman's uh, gallery. And hopefully when I do that, she's going to have an aesthetic that is similar in tone. So this is a little hack that you can use when you're trying to find brand imagery. Um, sometimes photographers will have like a certain look and it helps you to create a cohesive look for your brand imagery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start selecting images. Obviously I'm going to scale them down. And I'm just going to make it super simple. We don't need different shapes or sizes. I'm just going to keep it as a rectangle. Then I'm going to copy and paste that. And I'm going to do it so that it fills out the entire bottom and gives us enough, um, enough different images that uh, whoever I hand this off to will have a really good idea of what tone I'm after. So then I'm just going to pop in images that have that same tone. Um, there's a lot of dog stuff here and if that's your brand, I just created an entire um, campaign for one of my clients who this is actually her brand. She's the, the realtor with the dog and um, so this could really work well if it is actually your brand aesthetic. So we're just going to pop in some pictures here and now they're all different, I think. Let's just see if we can find something without a dog. Are there any? This one. Okay, there we go. So now in order to make this a little bit more, give it some oomph, what I'm going to do is head over to elements, grab the square, and then just to separate these sections and then I'm going to right click and say send to back. I'm going to hit on the plus sign and then here I'm just going to make this super light. Like you can barely see the difference but when I unclick on this you'll see that it creates a section. So now we have some context around some division between the logo, color palette, typography, etc. So we're going to keep this one white and then for typography I'm going to copy this box, bring it down here to the typography section and right click send to back and then I'm just going to space everything around here so it looks good and bring it up a bit and then we have our brand imagery at the bottom. You can also at the very bottom pop in your website. I'm going to bring this, copy, bring it down, let Canva tell me when I've hit the middle. It'll be a solid line not telling me. Don't. Oh, there it is. That's the middle. That does not look like the middle. Hold up. I'm just going to go in the middle of this. Yourwebsite.com. And when I zoom out, you'll see that now you have this amazing resource that you can then hand off to members of your team. So I hope that that was helpful and I would love for you to subscribe and hit like and of course um, tell me in the comments if you're going to use this and if this was helpful. Happy designing!